Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a magic kingdom that prospered through its commitment to two simple ideals, duty and devotion, the two Ds. For many years, the kingdom stood as a shining beacon for artisans, craftsmen, and storytellers who all flocked to the land with a dream to uphold the sacred two Ds. Through their hard work, a glorious golden age came to the kingdom, followed by a second, even greater than the first. Then came the dark times. The kingdom fell into the hands of an evil sultan, and through his negligence, the kingdom fell to ruin. <sighs> the happiest place on earth became the crappiest place on earth. Despite the efforts of one man, a man with a dream, to restore the kingdom to its former glory and to bring about the prophesied third golden age. A misunderstood man. This is his story. The untold story of a royal vizier. I look around the kingdom and see the desperation and the devastation that persists no matter what I do. But today could be the day I finally make a difference. And all the grateful citizens will say to me... Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you. Fuck you, Jafar. Oh, good morning, Baker. Where are you off to today, you no-good piece of shit? Ah, piece of shit. What, did you just call me a bastard? No, friend, I said nothing. That was my bird. He has the ability to repeat words that others have spoken. Hmm. Well, in that case, maybe you should teach him these words. Fuck you, Jafar. Marie, the baguettes, hurry up! Why don't we have enough to eat? Why are we dying in the street? His career is so clear Jafar, that ugly old messiah He's the reason for our many wars Though we're upset We shouldn't fret We mustn't let ourselves forget The saying every child Raised within the kingdom The story of a misunderstood witch who's really not wicked at all. She's just green, but she still gets blamed for all the kingdom's problems. Oh, so you think you're better than me just because you can read? Well, get out of my bookstore. We don't like your kind in here anyway. What about the book? Keep it, and may the rats ejaculate upon you. Thank you! Why is the kingdom plagued by theft? Why are there no more good jobs left? Why does the sun go down? Mostly well. Yes. Uh, it, um, yes. Jafar? Jafar! 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 No man who's just could ever trust a face that triggers such disgust. His twisted features give me such a chill. <gasps> so let us pray that one fine day that evil man will go away. Cause if we want it bad enough, he will. Dream a little harder. You'll get what you desire. Dream a little harder. When things are looking dire, if you dream a little harder, success is guaranteed. If you are sure of your intention, some magic intervention will give you the edge that you need. <laughs> oh, a 
pardon me, ma'am. Oh, that's all right. Just try to keep your fat face out of that motherfucking pool. <laughs> I know that I'm no prize. I'm not so easy on the eyes. I can't rely on looks to get me by. But ugliness permits a man to use his wits, cause pretty people never have to try. I hear the people whisper as I walk about the streets. I know they call me Ugly Old Defy! What I call planning, they call scheming. What I call delusion, they call dreaming. Why am I the only one who sees things as they are? Why not buy some? Oh, I want to fly. That's on my list. I want to be a cat. What? Fuck you. Whistle while you swallow a spoonful of sugar and your brains will come true upon the star. Dream hard enough, my friends. Jaffa will meet a violent end. He could be skewered by a sailing ship or hanged in tangled jungle vines. Or or he'll plummet to his death from a castle, a clock, or a cliff. And if we dream a little harder, our patience and our honor will rid us of that ugly old friend in this world. Ah! Fuck you! <laughs> right. Oh, my book, it's covered in mud. Oh, no, wait, is that shit? That smell is me, Jafar. You would not believe the morning I've had. Why is my captain of the Royal Guard covered in shit? Well, my men and I just jumped from a window and into a cart of Crazy Hakim's discount fertilizer. <laughs> Why? You were chasing a man. No, a devil. A thief who every day robs from the common folk. Bread, laundry off of clotheslines, and even watermelons. <laughs> we try to catch him, but he's always just one jump ahead. <laughs> Today, things got a little out of hand, and a lot of good people are dead. Explain! Well. The sword swallower slit his throat from the inside when the thief's pet monkey ripped the sword right out of it. Did you know the guy that sleeps on the bed of nails? Yes. A fat guard fell on him. <laughs> now he's dead. Then when we fell from the window and into the cart of manure, Cabal snapped his neck on impact. Two more choked on shit. All this for a loaf of bread. <laughs> Abdul, you're alive? I thought you choked on shit. Did we get the loaf of bread back? Oh no, I'm sorry, the thief got away with... Yes. Yes, Abdul, we got the bread back. Praise Allah. This is all your fault, Jafar. My fault? How is this my fault and not that thieves? There wouldn't be any thieves if you fixed the socioeconomic inequality like you promised. <laughs> Why do you even bother visiting us commoners anymore, you aristocrat? Well, there's a very important prince coming into town today from one of our vassal kingdoms, the land of Pixar. I've come to welcome him personally. <laughs> Another suitor for the princess? No, if only, Captain. He's here because the trade agreement between his kingdom and ours has expired. And I've got to extend the contract or our kingdom is doomed. That's why I've pulled out all the stops to make this prince's visit a happy one. We've arranged a character breakfast with our princess, given him a two-day park hopper pass and a lanyard for souvenir pin collecting. <laughs> Everyone must treat this prince with the utmost respect. <laughs> 
I saw that very prince riding by on his horse earlier. No. He was being accosted by the same thief we just spoke of. What? The street rat threw a whip in his face. He told him that he'd never seen a horse with two rear ends. Now, I'm not sure if the thief meant that the prince had a big horsey ass or a horse ass for a face. Either way, everyone laughed, and the prince was furious. Oh, I'd better go back to the palace and make sure his breakfast with the princess goes well. But Jafar, isn't she known to sick tigers on visiting princes? Oh, shit. You're right. I sure hope you haven't goofed this one up, oh, Jafar. No, no, I haven't. Why don't you go apprehend the thief? What's his name? There are whispers. Rumors only. They say he's called... Aladdin. Then we must find this one. This... Aladdin... Tisk, tisk, tisk! Look at this mess! Dead bodies in the street. The state of this kingdom. There's no place to raise a monkey! Oh. Come on, monkey, don't be scared! Yeah! It's just a dead body. You can have fun with them. Look, you can kick them. You can eat them. Most importantly, you get to loot them. All right. Ah, there it is. Look at that. Hey, that looks enough like you. That'll get you into the bars. Those guards should have just let me take this brat. Don't they get it? I'm not a bad guy. I steal only what I can't afford. And that's everything. <laughs> Want food, but got no money. I'm screwed, or so it would seem. That's why I came up with this brilliant scheme. Just steal everything. All right, monkey, let's feast. Kids, you guys hungry? You want some bread? But we do, sir. Fetch you, fucks! For real, I'm not that picky. I'll steal whatever's in sight. Don't judge, cause you don't understand my plight. Hey, my crutch! Bang that loser. I steal everything. <laughs> bread! <laughs> bread for sale? Very reasonably priced for these hard times. Oh, hey there, friendo. Not you again. Please, you just stole a loaf of bread from me this morning. Yeah, you gotta stop putting raisins in it, man. I hate raisins. I was talking to Monkey about it, and he thinks we should just kill you. But I was like, no, monkey, that's crazy. But now I'm kind of thinking, yeah. <laughs> no more fucking raisins. <laughs> no, no, please, I'll, I'll bring you some more bread tomorrow with no raisins. <laughs> oh, you're the best. I'm going to tell all my thief friends about you. But you owe me one. <laughs> Did you know this barbaric country? They only give you money if you work. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, the man. I'll keep stealing all I can instead of being a fascist yuppie jerk. Hippie. Sucker. Slacker. Sucker. Who would seek employment when life offers such enjoyment? Anything I get, I can get for free. Besides the economy, shit, so I make haste when they get exits. Get chased by a murderous mob. Hey man, still beats getting the job. Am I right? Ah. Oh, getting in trouble late and early today, aren't we, Aladdin? You're only in trouble if you get caught. Aladdin? Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> After that night we spent together, my belly grows big with child. And my father says that you must marry me or I'll bring dishonor to my entire family. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't give up on my dreams and settle down just because your dad's being a dick. Oh. Besides, if I do marry, I want it to be for love. Oh, Aladdin, I understand. I knew you would. You're such a special girl, Jezebel. Who's Jezebel? Uh-oh. Busted! <laughs> Yoink! That's 
completely fair, but in my defense, dude, your daughter's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that it's my duty to steal, cause stealing's an art. I'll steal clothing and shelter, whatever I lack. Candy from babies, the shirt off your back. Credit, identities, thunder and scenes. Intellectual property, whatever that means. And if you look closer, this poor little orphan will steal your It's imperative that this prince's visit is a happy one. And who knows, maybe he and the princess will hit it off. Mm, good luck marrying her off. Oh, Prince Ahmed, your excellency. Is this how your kingdom treats its guests, Jafar? <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Tell me, what do you see? Your heart boxer shorts, my liege. What else? Your ass cheeks, my lord. <laughs> my ass cheeks. <laughs> They're hanging out. <laughs> and what's this? Blood. Blood on my ass cheeks. <laughs> Tell me, Dravar. How the fuck did it get there? Well, is it because... Uh... It is because your princess just sicked a Bengal tiger upon my ass! I am lucky that it is so pert and small. Oh, well, I am grateful for your tiny ass, my lord. I cannot believe that she thought that she could feed a prince to a Bengal tiger and that there would be no political consequences. This really is an act of war, Jafar. And she treated it as if it were a throwaway joke. As if I were some silly side character here only to illustrate her reluctance to get married. <laughs> well, not only am I the ruler of a sovereign nation, but I have feelings too. And people who care about well, me. You must forgive our princess. She is youthful, but uh, well-meaning. <laughs> Do not feed me a shit and call it couscous, Javar. <laughs> this is yet another insult that your kingdom has heaped upon mine. But you can no longer afford such arrogance. Consider your kingdom's greatest exports over the last ten years. Toys, exotic fish, trash compacting robots, and other such incredibles. <laughs> All produced not by your kingdom, but by mine. Yes, you produce the goods and we distribute them. You take the credit for them. No, we share the credit. Well, perhaps we don't want to share the credit any longer. I had considered extending our alliance, but now, because of your princess, that is completely out of the question. The next time that I return to this so-called magic kingdom, it will not be with a lanyard or a two-day park hopping pass, <laughs> but with an army. Jafar, prepare for war. No, Ahmed, wait! No! Nobody makes an ass of Prince Ahmed! <laughs> Damn that girl! Oh, princess, you've got some splaining to do! Oh, no. No, the Indian swallowtails, they've escaped! No! I set them free! But those birds were imported from a foreign land! They can't survive here, the hawks will have them within the hour! Well, an hour free is better than a lifetime in a cage. Being fed and pampered and cleaned up after. What kind of a life is that? Just when are you going to learn that your actions have consequences? <clears throat> that prince you just sicked a tiger on has threatened our kingdom with war. Oh, it's not a big deal. He was such a joke. Just like every other swaggering peacock I've met. But not all of your suitors have deserved a tiger set upon them. What about that first prince? He was a charming fellow. I heard he once made out with a girl while she was blacked out. That's not charming. That's kind of rapey. 
<laughs> well, what about Prince Eric, the seafaring flautist? He fucked a fish. Oh. <laughs> he did not fuck a fish. He wanted to fuck a fish. Oh, predator fish fucker. Will anyone ever live up to your impossible standards? You know you're going to have to get married one of these days. Never. Marriage is a medieval construct that represents the ownership of women. It's like slavery. Grapes! <laughs> Besides, if I do marry, I want it to be for love. <laughs> One of these days you're going to learn that life isn't about dreams coming true. It's a series of compromises and disappointments. I was hoping that Prince Ahmed could fix our kingdom's problems, but now we are worse off than ever, and I've got to find a way to clean up your mess. But you... Being a princess is so stifling. I'm suffocating in this palace. A fan princess? <laughs> Now I'm kind of chilly. Oh, I'm a shroud of silk, my lady. I can't wear this! Did you know they make these things in sweatshops? Where have you been? Oh, spinning silk in your private sweatshop, mistress. <laughs> you actually work in one of those? Oh, yes. That's supporting a corrupt system. You're a part of the problem. <laughs> yes, princess! Am I the only one who wants more out of life? I just want to be free so badly. You slaves could never understand this feeling. Yes, princess. I'm the most powerful girl in the land. With a wave of my hand, I can give a command. But it's just like whatever. Cause they don't understand Look at my life from the outside And sure, I've got servants and tigers and stuff You're probably thinking She's got everything Well, it's true Cause I do But so the fuck what? It's not enough want a life of adventure with no orders I have to obey and dangers galore long as I can be sure that I'm safe and secure at the end of the day I've got to escape from this palace for a life where I'll truly be free I'll go live somewhere new just as big with a view and a few dozen Servants attending to me. That's all I'm asking for. I just want everything and more. I want the moon. I want to live on the moon and eat it in a pie and keep it as a pet and wear it 
We could be facing war. <laughs> Team? Hello? Hey, Jafar. Oh, Captain, where is my team? My assistant viziers, my think tank that share my commitment to duty and devotion. Has my whole 2D department gone missing? Oh, you haven't heard. Heard what? Bad news, Jafar. The order's already been carried out. By royal decree of the Sultan and his executive branch, the entire 2D department is to be disbanded. All 150 of its members are to be sacked. Mm hmm We put them in burlap sacks and beat them until they were dead. But those were men and women of talent and quality. All those masters of craftsmanship just thrown right out the window. Out of the highest window of the Western Tower. <laughs> But how could the Sultan do this? Don't blame the Sultan, Jafar. This is all your fault. <laughs> you didn't have the 2D department producing anything of value. Well, yes, I know. Well, see ya. <laughs> to think our kingdom was once a pioneer of art and culture and technology. How did it come to this? How did it come to this? Oh. Wait. It can't be. A necklace. I haven't seen this in years. Sands of time. Take me back Before it all went wrong When love was but a song And tomorrow shone as brightly as the sun Teach me to undo what's done Sands of time Sugar dates, sugar dates and peas, sugar dates and pistachios. Shalom, friends, and praise Allah for this blessed day. Salam, Jafar! And praise Allah for you, Jafar. Today's the day, isn't it? The day the palace finally gets a good and honest man on payroll. Assistant Vizier to the Sultan. Oh, you'll straighten out those crooked politicians. I'm sure of oh, it. Oh, now, now, be warm. I'm sure the higher-ups in the palace are doing their very best. They just need someone with strong resolve to keep them on that straight and narrow. Oh, I suppose you're right, Jafar. But how do you do it? How is it that you are so good to everyone you meet? My secret is simple, really. Anyone can do it. I just follow the golden rule. Oh, and what rule is that, Jafar? Why, it's as easy as a one, two, three, four. Follow the golden rule. For life's a two-way street. Now keep that in mind, and you'll be kind to everyone you meet. Follow the golden rule. It isn't hard to do. Always treat others like sisters and brothers, and they'll do the same for you. Before you harm your fellow man, Ask this question first How would you wish that he treat you If your fortunes were reversed Follow the golden rule That's how I choose to live Well, simple reciprocity Is always my philosophy I get back what I give Stop! penalty is for stealing! Stop your hand right there, friend! Omar, what's going on here? This boy has robbed me! So you take the law into your own hands? It is my right, Jafar! But is it right? Before you harm your fellow man, ask this question first. 
How would you wish that he'd treat you If your fortunes were reversed? Why take this boy's hand when you could just as easily put it to work? Give him a job, eh? And you, boy, don't you see that if everyone were to steal from Omar's cart, that he would be the one who was starving? Follow the golden rule. My hunger blinded me and forced me to act like an animal. Follow the golden rule. We're not animals. We're gifted with minds to reason and hearts to love. Follow the golden rule. So what do you say? Can you two work together? Follow the golden rule. For life's a two-way street. Keep that in mind. And you'll be kind to, to everyone you meet. Follow the golden rule. Follow the golden rule. It isn't hard to do. It's very easy. Always treat but others like seekers and well. They'll do the same for you. Follow the golden rule. They'll do it for you. Follow the golden rule. They'll do it for you. I think that's about enough fun for one day, huh, friends? <laughs> <laughs> I better be off to the palace. Good luck, Jafar. and disturb the royal vizier as he rests in his royal chambers of the royal palace. You, who are you? Oh, me, sir. My name is Jafar, sir. <laughs> yes, the new assistant vizier. The coffee veteran. <laughs> well, I intend to do a little bit more than that, my friends. And now I know it's my first day, but if you'll spare me some patience, I've prepared a list of reforms that the city is in desperate need of. It's going to take a lot of hard work and a little bit of elbow grease. But I believe that if we just follow the golden rule, that we can all create a whole new world for you and me. <laughs> and most importantly, the great people of this kingdom. <laughs> Are you finished? I, uh... Listen, boy. You speak of a golden rule. <laughs> We have our own golden rule here. Whoever has the gold makes the rules. What? I follow the golden rule. How can a man resist when the gold in his hand lets him rule the land with an iron fist? I follow the golden rule. It's either them or me. The gold that my neighbor earns from his labor is gold I'll never see Who has the gold makes all the rules So he wins the game and then the prize for winning More health, ha ha! And the game begins again Follow the golden rule Boy, don't be such a fool Damn your stupid charity we chase our own prosperity We follow the gold, follow the gold, follow the gold, follow the gold, follow the gold
So, just keep your mouth shut and your palm open and you may just get filthy, stinking rich. <laughs> Come, gentlemen, to the opium den. What is this palace life? Oh, oh. That'll teach you to sneer at a nobleman. Oh, my dear girl, what's been done to you? Somebody cut off my ear. Because they didn't like my face. But that's barbaric. Hey, it's home. Oh, well, well, worry not, miss. I am a studied healer. I may not be able to save the ear, but I can stay the bleeding. It would help if we kept you talking. You could start by telling me your name. My name is Sherazad. I suppose this will be the end of me. I'm here only for my beauty, and now that's gone. Oh, Sherazad, true beauty lies within, but no scratch could tarnish your heavenly glow. <laughs> your words are like honey, young master. Oh, Jafar, and I am master to no man or woman. I am a servant to the people, and therefore your servant. <laughs> Tell me, uh, what is it that you do in the palace? I entertain nobles with singing and dancing and stories. Stories? What, what kind of stories? Oh, if anything you can imagine. Tell me, have you ever heard the tale of the Tiger Head Cave? Filled with wonders beyond your wildest dreams. A forbidden treasure, a rug possessed with the soul of a lecherous thief, and perhaps the greatest treasure of them all. A common oil lamp. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, but do not be fooled by its commonplace appearance. This is no ordinary lamp. It is the prison of a jinn, a shapeshifter who will grant your every wish. He's also really funny. <laughs> well, there we are. Keep the bandages tight, lest the wounds become gangrenous. <laughs> by Allah! Are you a sorcerer? Oh, no, no. Uh, sorcery is a craft for fools and dreamers. I am a man of science. I believe only in what I can touch and feel. This cave you speak of, I can assure you it doesn't exist. <laughs> I would know because <clears throat> I apprenticed a geographer. <laughs> oh, you've just never seen it because the cave remains hidden to all but those who possess the key. Here. Look. Oh, a beautiful pendant. A golden scarab, if I'm not mistaken. Half a scarab, half the key. It is said that the cave was sealed by two lovers who were then transformed into one golden scarab. The cave will only reopen when the two halves become one and the lovers are united once more. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so you see, you say you only believe what you can touch and feel. Magic does nothing if not touch the soul. And there's no greater feeling than that. Wise words. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Perhaps I have been touched. Oh. Uh, pardon, do you know many stories, do you? I know a thousand tales to fill a thousand nights, but now another story comes to mind. A noble young vizier ascends to wondrous heights. He's brilliant as he's handsome, and handsome as he's kind. He is at once familiar and unknowable to the frightened girl he meets along the way.
like a self-styled god. My land reform bill will never pass. They refused you again. I work with the most selfish, corrupt, incompetent old men. Their mouths aren't fit to hold a donkey's shit. <laughs> if I could just speak with a sultan, if for a minute I could have his ear. As that nobleman took my ear? Share is that you jazz? <laughs> I'm only joking, Jafar. <laughs> now that I have you smiling, I think I'll give you a gift. Gift for me? What is it? Oh, what a handsome bird that is! Ah, handsome bird! Oh, it speaks our words! I saw him in the marketplace and I knew he would delight you. Oh, what else does he say? Anything you teach him. Ah, donkey shit! Oh, those harsh words are mine, aren't they? You clever girl, always finding new ways to keep me honest. It'll be good for us to have something to love and care for. It can be practice for us. What are you saying? Have all of our attempts finally bore fruit? Even when the doctor said it could not be so? Oh, praise Allah, the merciful and compassionate. Assistant Vizier Jafar, news from the palace. Your request for a hearing with the Sultan has been granted. You are to report to the palace immediately. Did you hear that, my darling? My land reform bill being heard by the Sultan on this of all days. We are blessed, Jafar. Come with me to the palace and let us never be parted again. A thousand and one lifetimes is not enough to spend. So let's make ours a story with no end. So let's make ours a story with no end. Behold! 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 The representative of Allah. 
on earth. Father of the country, shepherd of the people, sovereign of the land, he of the two ladies. Behold, the son of Osiris, Emperor, the divine ruler. Behold, the royal sultan. They say he has a golden tongue. I never thought I'd see this day. What do you think he'll say to us? What wisdom will he impart? Silence! <laughs> the Sultan shall now speak in his holy voice. <laughs> Many years ago, I took my finger and I pushed in my penis. <laughs> and it hasn't come out since. I will now hear from the court. A very wise and enthralling tale, my lord. We can all learn a lesson from it, I expect. Mm, where's my opium? I must have wine, sweetmeats, and cheeses. At once, my lord. <laughs> and now, my... Lowly and unworthy assistant vizier will present some issue or other for your holy consideration. Mm -hmm. Speak now, Jafar, and don't fuck it up. <laughs> Greetings, your highness. It is I, Jafar. I humbly prostrate myself to you and offer up this bill of land reform. It is essential to our way of life. Oh, who are you? Oh. Me, sir, I'm Jafar, as oh, I said, sir. not you, you jabbering ape. Huh. Oh, th this is my wife. <laughs> uh, it is an honor to be in your presence, great sultan. Yeah. She's my wife now. <laughs> I must have her for my harem. What? She makes my withered loins feel life again. Very good, my lord. She will be yours at once. No, she's my wife, damn it! Do you speak against your sultan? Against your king? On your knees, boy! What? No! What? No! Jafar! Ah! No! Ah! 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 This woman will be bathed and shaved and brought to your harem at once, my lord. Sherazad! No! I can't let this happen. He's stealing you from me. He's a thief. I won't let you go. But you must, Jafar. The Sultan wishes it, and it is our purpose to serve him. Well, maybe I have a new purpose now. The city needs you. You are going to be a great vizier someday. That is what your story is about. Oh, I wish I had the power to rewrite this tale. Never stop wishing it, Jafar. Here, take this. Pendant? You remember the two lovers. The key to the tiger head cave? We will be reunited one day and unlock wonders beyond your wildest dreams! First I lost her to the Sultan. Then I lost her to heaven. I thought that if I just did my duty, I could get her back. Now I am royal vizier. I'm powerless to save her or our city. I 
Unless the cave, the lamp, the wish granting gin. If I believed in wishes, as silly as it seems, I'd find that hidden cave, turn back the sands of time, and save you. If I believed in dreams, if I believed in magic, if I believed in good, I'd be the best vizier, I'd make our troubles disappear, if I believed I could. But wishes are dreams, and dreams are pretend So science and reason win out in the end Science says you're dead and gone forever Reason says I'm talking to the air But something in my heart, some secret hidden part Illogically insists that you are there Change the course of fate Cause after all I must be pretty great <laughs> If you believed in me Jafar! Oh, what is it, Captain? Can't you see I'm busy? Bad news. It's the princess. We've checked everywhere, but she's nowhere to be found. It appears she's run away. Oh, all her talk of freedom. I should have seen this coming. I agree. This is all your fault, Jafar. Well, don't just stand there. Go out and find her. Leave no stone unturned. I have an errand I must attend to. Oh, princess, you poor, naive girl. I only hope you haven't fallen prey to some... Sex crazed ruffian! Right this way, babe. I want to thank you again for saving me back at the marketplace. I can't believe that man wanted to reprimand me just for taking some of his apples. Yeah, those merchants are real dicks about that kind of stuff. It's like, is he really gonna eat all those apples? And you know the ones he doesn't eat? He's trying to sell for money. So greedy. But you're so generous, sticking your neck out for a girl you just met while expecting absolutely nothing in return. <laughs> and then insisting that I stay with you tonight. No problem. I do it all the time. <laughs> wow, you live here? Well, I'm squatting here. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of a mess right now. It's hard to keep a big place like this clean. Well, don't you have someone to clean it for you, like a slave? Well, I got this monkey, but uh, he only cleans his side of the room, leaves the shower curtain open all the time, and he hasn't even started work on our screenplay. Unbelievable. <laughs> People need slaves just as much as rich people do. Maybe even a little bit more. And you know what the really sad part is? The people in power are doing absolutely nothing to change that. Change scares old people. Yeah. Kronos just don't get us, you know? It's like, you're 16, and I'm... Yeah. Wow. I'm only 33. <laughs> I think I've seen it all, but I forget how young I am sometimes. I love how raw this conversation is. You are so mature and deep. Of course, it's a free thinker like you who's struggling to get by. And all because of our totally corrupt class system. I hate the class system. That's why I said, fuck it, I'm never going to school again. So, you 
abandoned everything to be free? That is so brave. Brave? Me? Yeah. <laughs> but I was kind of forced into it. I had to grow up fast. My life has just been so hard. I know you think I'm this perfect guy, but there's something I have to confess. I only hope it doesn't make you like me any less. I've got this tragic backstory that's driven other girls away, but I feel like I can trust you. You won't judge me for what I say. The others couldn't handle it, cause my story's just too sad. <laughs> but here I go, you ought to know, I have no mom or dad. They died <laughs> earlier this year. Now I'm an orphan. All my parents ever did was support me, give me a place to stay, tell me they love me, no matter what. They were really bad parents. I mean, how's the 33-year-old kid supposed to know how to survive on his own? No idea what it's been like. I had no one to bake me bread, no one to make my bed, no one to teach me the difference between right and wrong. Wanna sing me a song? I long to be as strong as I used to be, but I was orphaned at 33. Aladdin, I am so sorry. I didn't know. I've got no one to hold me tight, no one to kiss me goodnight. No one to press or press up against me and say It'll all be okay But hey, that's just the way life is for me Since I was orphaned at 33 They call me a jerk-off, a burnout, a punk But I can't let that junk in my head I could have been a contender if not for the fact that my parents are dead. All things considered, I think I turned out pretty good. Pulled myself up by my bootstraps and started stealing all I could. Still there's no one to love me now, but I'll make it through somehow. But I make a solemn vow That when I have kids of my own I'll break the chain You'll see I'm gonna live forever <laughs> So they'll never know the pain Absolutely. I've experienced it many, many times. Oh, Aladdin! There you are! They're, They're after, after me! me. They're, They're after, after you? you? There she is, guys, get her right there! <laughs> Got him! Come on! Princess, I'm so glad we found you before this criminal was able to... Give me my first kiss and you... No high five. <laughs> and you ruined it. Now, let him go. I can't.
cannot. This man must face trial for his crimes. But that is not fair. He's a victim of circumstance. Victim? Tell that to Bafool's twin brother, Abdul. He was the victim. Well, unlike Aladdin, he probably had a family who loved him. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> this man must face the due punishment for all murdering thieves. Beheading. Oh! Don't look at me like that. These are my orders from Jafar. This is all his fault. Jafar is a monster! You are late. A thousand apologies, oh patient one. You have it then? I had to slit a few throats, but I got it. Oh yes, yes, the other half of the golden scarab. Now I can finally find the entrance to the tiger head cave. Wait, wait, what? You slit people's throats? I didn't tell you to kill anyone. This is awful. <laughs> Jafar, no, that is just an expression. What? Yeah. Means I got a killer deal at the marketplace. Slip oh. of killer deal. Oh, no. oh, so so you bought it off a merchant then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a real shrewd businessman too. But I was not intimidated. No. I walk right into his shop. <laughs> and I fuck this puppy. <laughs> what? <sighs> Jafar, that is another common expression. Yeah, it means that I put that merchant in his place as if he were a defenseless little oh, puppy. Oh, oh. Yeah. <sighs> Colorful expressions in the marketplace yeah. these days. You know, <laughs> Jafar, you need to learn to relax. Not take everything so serious, uh, man. Well, you I know? beg your pardon. Uh, you've done an excellent job. Here oh, is your oh, payment. Ah, uh, thank you. Hmm. It went great. Until that merchant realized how bad I screwed him on the price. <laughs> Man, did he ever chop my dick off. <laughs> <laughs> he chopped your dick off. <laughs> that ain't so good. What the fuck are you laughing at? What? You think that's funny, Jafar? Maybe you'd like to have a look at where my dick is. <laughs> But we've got a kingdom to save and a lamp to find. The Tigerhead Cave is said to be a treacherous place. But no matter, I know just the able-bodied soul I can risk in good conscience. So let me get this straight. You busted me out of jail so I could go to a cave filled with mountains of gold and the only thing you want is a crummy old lamp? Precisely. The rest of the treasure is yours, but the lamp is mine. I love you, man! Because I would have so much gold, I could swim through it like a pool. <laughs> I think people can really do that. No. But once you have all that money, you can finally leave your life of crime behind. Run away and never return. I'm totally gonna do that. I just gotta do this one thing first. Uh, what thing would that be? Well, this thing is a girl. <laughs> what? Yeah. She's got these eyes that just... In her butt, wow, in her toddies, oh. <laughs> She's just, she's just so, so beautiful, fuckable. <laughs> but she's the princess. To even stand a chance, I'd have to have enough money to like, hire an army of assassins to kill the royal vizier and all the palace guards. Then I can sneak in and you know, pork her. 
dude, once I get my mindset on a chick, I just can't move on until I get this nut out. <laughs> well, first you must escape the tiger head cave with your life. Then you can get your nut out. <laughs> your eternal nut out. Nice. So where is this place anyway? I don't know. Yet. What? Oh, it worked! It worked! Follow that trail! I'll be treated like a hero All the citizens adore They'll throw a parade in my honor With peacocks and monkeys galore The people will cheer For the royal vizier For answering duty's call Not that I care for glory I just want a story with a happy for all I can't wait to be a rich dude Because I've heard it told That stealing is so much easier When you've already got tons of gold But I got my eye On what money can't buy Cause that princess is through hell and tight I'll be the one who plunders her cave of wonders Get a happy ending tonight My innocent Aladdin Please darling don't be dead It puts a damper on our love If you don't have a head I wish that you could fly away Escape somehow The entrance to the Tiger Head Cave, go on! And one day the genie will say to me, Jafar, you're a man of such virtue. I hate to see how your loneliness and your memories hurt you. But shouldn't a man who's so noble and whose influence is so global have someone by his side? know what you're wishing, so with your permission, I'd like to bring back your bride. And with my wife beside me, my failures will be absolved. The world will be a paradise with all its problems solved. We'll retire to some far-off place and share an itty-bitty living space. A humble yet cozy above. Not so fast. You said you wanted a common oil lamp. Yes. Of absolutely no value. Uh, precisely. That's the one. No, this couldn't be it. Because this lamp has a magic gin inside. He came out for a bit. And he's really funny. Oh, oh, I'm sorry I knew about the gin. I'm sorry that I deceived you. I just needed it to save the kingdom. Well, you lied, dude. 
All that other treasure was just lava in disguise. So I'm stealing this thing. Aladdin one, old Ford Zippo. No. <laughs> See ya! No. Prince Ahmed, there you are. We'd almost forgotten about you. We weren't sure if you're ever coming back, my prince. Uh, of course I came back. Why, why wouldn't I? Men, you would not believe the disrespect that I was shown on my journey to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> but I come to you with proof of the crimes done against me. Everyone, look at my ass. <laughs> Tell me. What do you see? A smooth set of cheeks, my prince. A clean and pert ass, my lord. I see the back of your balls. Yes. <laughs> That's right, claw marks is what you see. Oh. And how do you suppose they got there? You received the manhood of a badger. Oh, uh, you smiled at a crocodile. Those are stretch marks. They happen. <laughs> it was a tiger! Oh, I see. You received the manhood of a tiger. Yes! Yes, did you hear that, lads? Our prince made love to a tiger! All hail Ahmed, the tiger fucker. <laughs> tiger fucker! Tiger fucker! Tiger fucker! I did not fuck a tiger! <laughs> One was set upon me. That darn cat tore right through the seat of my pants and grabbed a hold of my woody. <laughs> tiger fucker! Tiger fucker! No, no, no. My woody. Look. His arm is all fucked up. And now, now he can't come with me to cowboy camp. <laughs> Because of that ungrateful, odious, pretty, beautiful, beautiful princess. <laughs> oh, 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 it's never going to happen. A girl like her and a guy like me. I'm not handsome of the thing. No! Silence. I have this weird sticky uppy nose and this ridiculous mustache. I should just shave it. Don't you dare. We love you just the way you are. No matter what happens, you will always be a prince to me. Thank you. In your homeland, you're a legend. All the people know your name. On the battlefield and off you are superior. I know. In the kingdom, though, I'm finding that my only claim to fame is an incident involving my posterior. Posterior. Please. I've won scores of bloody wars and mopped the floors with my foes, but no one remembers Ahmed. I've eviscerated peasants from their heads down to their toes But no one remembers Ahmed Say my name in these parts and you'll get a vacant stare Until you mention tigers or spotted underwear Spotted underwear! So to restore my repute as a fierce, fearsome brute There's only one rule I see Arrange the slaughter of millions of innocent civilians Then they'll remember me The kingdom has oppressed us for years But I've been ignored for too long We're going to war! Caked in mud or drenched in blood You smell as fresh as a flower But no one remembers Ahmed 
you can pleasure 60 concubines in only an hour. Yes. But no, no one remembers Ahmed. Back home I was a hero, ladies trembled when I spoke. But here the women treat me like a throwaway joke. Throw him away. Oh, I'm a god on earth, but John it. Even deities in planet. Now and then can feel a little insecure. Insecure. All I want is some affection. His rejection's almost too much to endure. To endure. Get all you must endure. Am I not a thing of beauty? Don't you want a piece of this? Wouldn't you gladly give up all of your worldly possessions just to greet me when I come home from a one-sided massacre and bathe my sweaty, bloody body with your tongue? But the princess rejects me still. She may not love me yet, but I will. I bet that once I kill all her people, she will. Yes, she will. Yes, she absolutely will. Let them laugh. Let's just find. But the last laugh will be mine. Cause they can't laugh for they're all dead. I'll make them all regret the day they chose to forget. What's that name, everyone? Like I said, what's that name? You're the cock of the walk, with that's as hard as a rock. Nevermore will they mock you, Ahmed. He fucked a tiger. I did not fuck a tiger. I did not. It was so remember And now my hoopy is They'll remember I noticed you weren't at dinner, but I saw you try to poison my wine. Usually when you do that, it means you want to talk. What's up? Are you mad at me? <laughs> All right. I've got to go find the antidote. Where are you going? There she is. So what's wrong? Everything. <laughs> you ripped out my heart and smashed it into a million pieces. And don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, oh. that innocent boy from the marketplace. The one that you sentenced to death. You know, a, 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 Aladdin? Uh, yes, Aladdin. <laughs> the name that will forever be burned into my soul. <laughs> well, first of all, I would hardly call him a boy. He was well into his 30s. He was Perfect. Like, if you cobbled together all the best features from all the best guys and then gave him a tragic backstory. It's like he was designed specifically to appeal to me. Princess, he was not a nice kind of fellow. You just didn't know him like I did. No, you didn't know him like I did. I knew everything about him. He was my soulmate. My... My... God, I'm freaking out. What was his name? Al Aladdin. Aladdin? Mm-hmm. I'm writing that down. Aladdin. That's weird. It's two L's? Uh, no, no. One L, two D's. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that looks weird. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> well, princess, all your life I've been your vizier, your tutor. Believe it or not, I care about you. You're going to have to rule this kingdom one day, and I am trying my best to prepare you. But I don't want to be prepared. I want to expect the unexpected. So you think you could handle ruling the kingdom right now? Absolutely. Well, then how would you protect the kingdom against Prince Ahmed, should he invade? Well, we 
Who? Or more simply, how would you fix the socioeconomic inequality? Oh, 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 I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, how privileged I am, and how, because I am the princess, everyone has to be nice to me and give me things. So I think it would solve all of the kingdom's problems if we just made everyone a princess. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> you know it would work. Look, you're young. You don't exactly get how things work yet. And while I don't appreciate any of your ideas, I do appreciate the fact that you have ideas. Maybe one day you'll have some good ones. <laughs> but I wouldn't give another thought to this Aladdin. He's just like all the other princes in our kingdom. Sexual predators, the lot of them. Just look at their tactics. They target vulnerable young girls and build up false senses of trust, and then isolate them on magic rides of sort. And then when the moment is right, they whip it out. <laughs> you know, they are songs. Oh. Be wary of young boys who whip out their songs. A song is often a prelude to a dick. <laughs> a song is a dick in sheep's clothing. And if you are ever in doubt, just remember this song. A song is a dick in sheep's clothing. A song means a dick is on the way. Jafar! What is it, Captain? Can't you see I am trying to impart a life lesson? I feel like you only come to see me when there's bad news. Not this time. Oh, thank heavens. What is it, then? Horrible news. <laughs> Some fool atop an elephant is leading a parade throughout the marketplace. A parade? With no permits? No clearing of the streets? What of the apple carts? They're all turned over. Oh! And it gets worse. The madman's throwing gold pieces to the starving masses, and they're trampling each other to get to it. I counted 13 dead before the peacocks got to them. Oh, shit. This is all your fault, Jafar. Maybe if you threw a parade every once in a while. I don't want to hear it! Captain, let's go. Princess, we'll talk later. It was actually a pretty good parade. They even had a flying carpet. A flying carpet? Could it be... No, that Aladdin is far too clever to show his face in the city again. And even if he did, he'd be in such heavy disguise. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> did somebody order a prince? <gasps> Aladdin! <laughs> Who the fuck you know is me? Because it is you, you're just wearing different clothes. <laughs> Well, pretty and smart. You're the whole shebang, babe. But how did you escape being executed? Uh, I escaped because well, I'm a prince. You're a prince? But I thought that you were a poor orphan boy. Oh, I'm having trouble believing this. No, no, I am a prince. Everything I told you the other night was a lie. Don't you trust me? <laughs> You're not a tragic figure rebelling against the man. Babe, I am the man. And you stole all of that stuff just cuz? Exactly. Uh, oh no. Okay, um, now I'm kind of feeling like everything about you that was attractive to me before isn't really there anymore. <laughs> No, no! I'm just being indecisive. It's still you. I've just got to get back on that high that I was on before. Oh. You want to get high? <laughs> yes. Look into my eyes and talk to me some more about the world's injustice. Sure. Just let me roll this blunt first. <laughs> Yo, Jin, listen up, little dude. 
I know I can't wish for this chick to fall in love with me because mm, that's against your rules or whatever, but I don't want her to love me, man. I just want her to fuck me. <laughs> Can I wish for that? No! Jeez, how many rules you got, dude? Funny bastard. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Hey, Aladdin here. How you guys doing tonight, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Now shut up for a second, I want to get serious. You guys know there's a way to get people to think about sex without even talking about sex? You just got to do it subliminally. Watch and learn. Hey, babe. Such a beautiful night. Take off your clothes. said it's beautiful out. Look at the West Tower of the Palace and take off your clothes. <laughs> what does it look like? A big, long shaft with a tiny head on top? What does that remind you of? A giraffe. Really? It's not what I see. Maybe you can't take off your clothes. Get a good look at it from down here. What do you say we... Take a magic carpet ride. Turn your clothes off. <laughs> Let's go to a place that's a bit more isolated where you can't escape taking off your clothes. Take 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 off your clothes. Oh no, you guys. Do you think that Jafar could be right about Aladdin? Yeah. I don't think so. Me neither! <laughs> Aladdin is so nice and charming. I mean, it's not like he's singing or anything. See that palace of gold <laughs> Shining, sparkling, metallic And a little bit phallic Take a look and you'll agree See those leaves on the ground Spelling something explicit Don't you blink or you'll miss it Gently asking you and me Take off your clothes so many hidden messages Subtle, yet slightly new But if you're true They'll put you in the mood To take off your clothes I feel compelled subconsciously I don't know why or how But here and now I'm tempted to take off my clothes with you I wanna take off my clothes That priest has a boner No, I think that's just his knees Take off your clothes The universe is telling you we're married. Each sign is planted there With loving care Accept the cosmic dare And take off your clothes, princess Take off your pants You show me your magic carpet Ben, I'm the most powerful prince in the world. More powerful than Prince Ahmed? Hey, I don't even know who that guy is. <gasps> Maybe this is how I help save the kingdom. By marrying you. Marry me, Aladdin! <laughs> if I do, will you take off your clothes? We not so fast. Take off your clothes. At least your time. Aladdin, stop! Listen, babe. 
I mean, I know you're scared. I mean, I am too. I've never done this before. Well, until we're married, can't we just sit out here and look up at the stars? Okay. Okay. Hey, I respect you, you know. Take off your clothes. What? Let me ask you this. Is your penis an innie or an outie? Too. Sultan! My lord! My liege! Jafar, can't you see I'm in the middle of a mind-blowing conversation with this furry man? What is it? I was just in the marketplace clearing up after an unauthorized parade when I saw him! Prince Ahmed is back! Who? I played that he was just a one-off joke, not to be taken seriously! But he's brought the entire army of pigs out with him, and they'll break through our walls! Our kingdom is doomed! And I... I've failed you. Yes. You have. Like always. And like always, I've had to rectify your incompetence. What? How? Yes, the princess has finally chosen a suitor. A prince, whom she shall wed upon the morrow. Uh, he will call upon his armies and they will defeat Prince Ahmed. Well, who is this man, this hero? Hmm, uh, the greatest prince in all the world. Why, he's got 50 elephants, llamas galore, bears, lions. A brass band. A brass band. And whores. Don't forget about all my whores. You, where is the lamp? Go, oh, please don't hurt me. Ah, what are you doing to that prince? This is no prince. This is the wanted thief, Aladdin. How the fuck you know it was me? <laughs> Jafar, no. Aladdin explained everything to me. He was just pretending to be a wanted criminal. For fun, he's actually a powerful prince. No, he's a liar. This is the truth. I took him into the desert in search of a lamp containing a wish-granting gin. Just stay with me. I was hoping to use the lamp to save the kingdom, but this thief stole it from me, and now I suspect... Now, what the fuck? What the fuck am I talking about? I know, I know that he used the lamp and wished for this prince costume. That is what we are looking at right now. I bet the lamp is under that lamp-sized hat. <laughs> Bullshit! Why would I pretend to be a prince just to get laid? It's not me. Boy, do the first good deed of your life and hand over the lamp. You have selfishly squandered its magic for long enough. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you picking on me, Jafar? <laughs> You're afraid I'll reveal your little secret? What secret? Does anybody else here <laughs> ever wonder how this guy just opens his yapper and can talk anybody into anything he wants? What's he using? Logic. Reason. See, I was kind of thinking, uh, magic. Sultan? Princess? This guy is a sorcerer. What? Think about it. How is it that he knows so much shit? <laughs> hey, Jafar. Where do hippopotamuses come from? Africa. See, how you fucking know that, sorcerer? <laughs> you are flying by the seat of your pants, boy. No one here believes you. Yes. I can't believe it. I have had a sorcerer in my midst this entire time. Gods, capture that sorcerer. What? No. This is your own fault, Jafar. <laughs> I should have known you were a sorcerer. You're idiots! You're all idiots taking the word of that worthless street rat over a lifelong faithful servant! How I ever served you for all these years, I'll never understand. I would have expected this from all of you bozos. But, Princess, I am very disappointed in you. All right, I've heard enough. Seize that vile betrayer. Off with his head! No, I don't want to get my head chopped off. So I'm going to combine this bottle of potassium chlorate and this bottle of sodium bicarbonate. It will create a large cloud of smoke, which I'll use as a cover to make my escape. It will look as if something magical has happened, but it's simply a chemical reaction, not sorcery. <laughs> Chemistry. 
and poof. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. I thought I was just bullshitting you guys. But he actually was a sorcerer. Oh, I was in the same room as a sorcerer. Captain, find that Sosma. Oh, I can handle this. I got one wish left. I'm saving it for a bigger dick. But... Oh, shit. Where's the lamp? Against my shouting, the highest act of treason But I had good intentions, I did it for a reason They'll kill me if I'm lucky, they'll torture me if not What made me think that I could get away with such a plot? It's not too late to bring it back, perhaps I'll be forgiven But if my crime can help improve the world we all must live in Am I not bound by duty to the people of this nation? Does the golden rule apply in such a situation? As a citizen, I think I would be grateful for the aid But if I were the Sultan, I should hate to be betrayed Whichever road I take, only incurring someone's wrath Till now I've always travelled down the straight and narrow path Temptation may have beckoned, but I always have resisted But which way do I turn when the roads become so so twisted. <laughs> Who are you? A fellow traveler down a twisted bar. Oh no, I know you from Sherazad stories. Uh uh uh. You think you know, as others think they know you, but there are two sides to every story. kept my word but my brother held the antiquated notion that women should be seen and never heard so he dethroned me then disowned me and on top of that resumed me to the outskirts of the kingdom in a cave took my scepter and my crown though i tried to take him down the truth and i now share a watery grave <laughs> The story lingers on, but the version that is drawn is twisted. A pain I know all too well. <laughs> the pride had never seen a more progressive king than me. Both lion and hyena lived in perfect harmony. I brought an end to what had been a senseless age-old feud I was prepared for anything except for what ensued My brother ate my heirs, my precious cups, and stole my throne Returned to segregation and the hateful ways we'd known Though I'd advocate for unity, I always was denounced So when I saw an opportunity to right the wrong, I pounced The pride came before my fall in a fate that one might call well twisted They weren't ready for my ideas No, they didn't hate you because of your ideas They hated you because of that evil looking scar on your face Fortune favors the beautiful Oh, contraire! <laughs> my only crime was love in town, there was only she who was as beautiful as me on the inside. But then, tragedy struck. She was taken hostage in a castle filled with demonic furniture. So I did what anyone would do, and I organized a rescue mission. But how was I to know that she had fallen in love with her captor? To me, that doesn't seem entirely healthy. Especially since he's a wolf bear thing. A buffalo monster <laughs> in a cape. <laughs> but the heart wants what it wants, and sometimes what it wants is twisted. Twisted, twisted, twisted. I only wish to reclaim what was lost. I only wish for it. 
equal rights for all. I only wish to save her. I only wish to be invited to the party. I only wish to improve relations between the races. I only wish to teach the boy responsibility. I only wish to give the people all more so he wouldn't end up like me. I only wish to love her. To have the miserable, lonely, and depressed. To be included. To live in harmony. Unfortunate situation. <laughs> but you do have a choice. <laughs> what remains? of a man when that man is dead and gone only memories and stories of his deeds will linger on but if a man's accomplishments aren't in the tale they tell are the deeds that go unheralded his legacy as well if a wall breaks out tomorrow we'll all have hell to pay why protect my reputation I'm a dead man either way How will they tell my story? How will they tell my tale? Will anybody even care? The question then is whether tis nobler in the mind to be well liked but ineffectual or moral but maligned. I'll never be a hero All the citizens adore but if I hide to save my life, what has my life been for? What has my life been for? The road ahead may twist, but I will never swerve. I'll give them all the unsung anti-hero they deserve. I've nothing left to lose, so the only path to choose is twisted. Let them twist my words, let the people scorn me Who cares if no one will ever mourn me Let them bury the sign of the story they'll never learn Let the truth be twisted, let my life be twisted Citizens of the Magic Kingdom, your armies have abandoned you. Your ruling class is corrupt, and we have come to put an end to your tyrannical rule. You will never end our tyrannical rule! Uh, oh, princess, funny thing you hear. It is I, Prince Ahmed. Who? Prince Ahmed. I visited you last week. <laughs> I saw vengeance. I brought my army to ravage your people. Oh, that's right. Didn't my tiger eat your ass? Tiger fucker! Tiger fucker! Stop it! No! Your tiger did not eat. Oh, fuck. My ass. It is I who will be doing the fucking today. That's right. Bring Ahmed his tiger and nobody gets hurt. Shut up! Stop it! 
Uh, what I meant was that I'm going to fucking destroy this kingdom. I'm so sorry, Ahmed. You are not fucking destroying this kingdom anytime soon. We have a great and powerful prince to protect us. One with an army far greater than yours. Impossible. It is said that he faced the galloping hordes. That's like a hundred bad guys with swords. Soon you will be the one surrendering. Prince Ahmed, make way for Prince Aladdin! <laughs> Aladdin! <laughs> oh. Yeah, Aladdin! <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> It appears that your prince has cold feet. Now step aside, princess. It's not you I'm after. I come for the head of the sultan. Then you come for my head, Ahmed. Jafar? Jafar. Jafar! <laughs> what is the meaning of this? You are not the sultan. Yes, I am. I have been gifted power, Ahmed. And soon I will have the power to destroy your puny army. Impossible. Come forth, my jinn. You all-powerful and terrible thing! You who can command the very stars and the moon! Come forth and serve your master! You talking to me? You talking to me? Yes! I am talking to you now! Get your ass over here! Here's Johnny. <laughs> All right, Johnny. Uh, that's uh, that's the thing, John. Uh, when when Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, uh, the pirates don't eat the tourists. <laughs> so I use my my first wish to become the Sultan. I wish I had a million dollars. Hot dog. Okay. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Now I must use your powers again, my gin. All the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks in the night. Who? Rosebud. <laughs> Jafar, what's going on here? Who's this very funny blue man standing next to you? This is my gin, Johnny. I'm Turbo Man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess his name is actually Turbo Man. Shh. I'm Batman. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Listen, I am a mortal man. I don't understand your strange godlike tongue. You're going to have to work with me here. I don't work for tombs. A tomb killed my brother. <laughs> I have got to use my second wish to destroy that army. And to do that, I've got to become more than a man. No. I've got to become a symbol. N no, no. A Jedi. No, no. A dick for. <laughs> What's a dick for? <laughs> <laughs> no! I've got to become a sorcerer. Can you do that? Yeah. But you're gonna have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> Yes, I do feel lucky. I've got a magic gene. But I think he might be a fucking moron. Hey. Don't look at me like I'm frickin' Frankenstein. Give your father a hug. Oh, Scott. Come on, Scott. Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Hey, Turbo Man! My fuse is about this long right now! Are you referencing something? Are you trying to make me laugh like, like some kind of work of fiction that I'm unaware of? I was not charmed by the song you sang when you came out of the lamp, and I am not charmed by your crazy bullshit now. You either need to back me the fuck up! Or shut the fuck up. Got it? You had me at hello. 
Good. Ahmed, are you still there? Yes. Prepare to die. Oh, all right. I make my second wish. I wish to become the most powerful sorcerer in the world. Swing. Oh. 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 Well, don't just stand there. Shut. Oh, shit. Oh. Where'd you? Ah, forget him. See in hell, monkey. See in hell, princess. See in hell, kingdom. Aladdin. I was looking all over for you. Ahmed is attacking. Where is your army? Uh, they're just lost right now. I'm gonna go meet them halfway, bring them back here, and we don't have time for that. We're all gonna die. Right. And what's the last thing you want to do before that happens? Take off your clothes. That's right, have sex! Hurry, take off your clothes. I'm not going to take off my clothes in the middle of a battle! Why not? No, 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 no! Oh my God. My skin is melting. Jin, Jin, where are you? Come and fight me, Jafar. Fight me like a man, you cowardly snake. Motherfucking train! Jaden, Ahmed's forces are too great! Even with all my power, I cannot defeat them. We'll have to take as many civilians as we can, move them to the palace, and retreat! In our moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. Would you stop? <laughs> Acting like an asshole for one minute. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. Okay, okay, just move that palace to the top of that fucking cliff, over there! All righty then. Come on, babe, you're such a tease. You're making my balls as blue as my genie's balls. I'm not a tease. I'm just not a freak. Oh, oh right, you're like a strong, powerful woman. So maybe what you need is a strong, powerful guy to go all strong and powerful on you. Aladdin, stop! You're pissing me off. You're making sex seem gross and lame. In fact, I'm sure... Yeah, I'm never gonna have sex with you! <gasps> you can never say never, babe. Take off your clothes. Take off your clothes. Why is it working?! What the hell is going on in here? Got that, Aladdin? We are not a thing anymore, okay? We're just having our first fight. Maybe after some makeup sex. No. You know what? I thought you were mature for your age, but you're just like all the other 16 year old princesses I've dated. <laughs> Except you're forgetting one thing I'm a thief. I take what I want. Get back, little oh, prince! One step in the little girl gets. All right, I'm not moving. Just be cool. You need to tell me to be cool, motherfucker. I'm getting out of here. I'm making a clean getaway back to my apartment. And little princess is coming with you. No! I won't let you take her. You have no idea how much that girl means to me. I love her. Oh, you love her? Dude, she's like half your age, you're a total pedo. No, not that kind of love, you shitful brains! You don't understand. My wife was with child when she was taken by the Sultan. She died in childbirth. And then the princess was coincidentally born around... ...same time. By Allah, how could I have never seen it before? The Sultan inverted his penis years ago. He couldn't have children. Aladdin, please, don't hurt her. I love her like a daughter. Surely even you have felt this kind of love before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love my parents. But that didn't stop me from doing what needed to be done. Hey, what? <laughs> yeah, I do. Remember me? You. 
you're the guy who killed my parents. Where you been, man? In your reflection. <laughs> I live here. No, I live here. No. <laughs> you're just squatting here. Wait, 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 wait. If I'm you, then that means that I killed my parents? But I didn't want them to die. Who are you kidding? You wish for it every goddamn day of your life. They were gonna kick you out of the house. They were, weren't they? Make you get a job. I don't want one of those. That's why they had to die. Wow. I guess you're right. I guess I should be thanking you. Yeah, I think a thank you's in order. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Ah, time to get that lamp back. Wait, what are you gonna do with the lamp? Wish for stuff, jackass. Like how you wish to be this prince. <laughs> Pretty good idea, by the way. But there are better ideas, better wishes. Like what? I don't know. But it's gonna be one hell of a ride. Okay, Jesus Christ, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> But you are in no position to be handling that knife or this lamp. Crack off! Listen to him, man, he'll kill you. Yeah, now you're getting it. See, I'm the one that deserves that lamp. Because I'm the best wisher. Because I'm the best wisher. That's the trick! You just really have to believe your own bullshit. Who else could have done it and come this far? You? You're an ugly old fart! You're right, you're right. I'm not the kind of person who can use the lamp. I don't believe in wishes. It takes someone who believes they can change the world to actually do it. Yeah, someone like me. So why don't you hand that lamp over to someone who knows how to use it? I think I will. But if I give you the lamp, will you give me the princess? Sure, you can have this prude! I can wish for a slutty princess or a million! I can wish for anything! <laughs> I'll get excited about this guy! Then so be it! But first, I make my final wish. Jin, I wish to take your place as the wish granter. Do you hear that? You're free! I wish to be the all-powerful genie! It's Groundhog Day! What? No, no, no! But she can't be free! I didn't get my last wish! Oh, come on, work a stupid lamp! Ah, this isn't fair! Life is supposed to be fair! I... Yes! The power! The absolute power! Oh, shit! The universe is mine to command, to control! And I am at your service, princess. Jafar, you're like a devil guy. No, I'm just a jinn. Oh, why did you wish for that? Oh, don't you see? Aladdin was right about one thing. My wishes were weak. But you, your youth and your passion, and yes... Your naivete, these give you power. When I was your age, I thought I could accomplish anything I ever wanted, and more. But I didn't. Perhaps no one does. But you have to think you will, or you won't have the strength to try. And maybe you won't make any big changes, but a few little ones that pave the way for the next generation, and then they'll make small changes and leave it to the next and the next. It's a bit like a carousel of progress. <laughs> Always spinning towards a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow is just a dream away. But what if tomorrow never comes? Oh, tomorrow always comes. Even if it comes without us. Without me. The lamp and the gin must return to the Tiger Head Cave. But before I go, I can grant three wishes. I don't think I'm ready. Oh, you 
must be. This is your kingdom now. What will I do without you to guide me? When I am lost, where will I turn? So many doubts and fears inside me. I'm just a child. I have so much to learn. You remind me of someone I knew long ago. You have her eyes. You have her heart. That's why I love you so. And that's how I know. Somewhere deep within you, like a tiny seed waiting to grow into a flower you have the power to lead you've done your best to heed me but you don't need me as a guide for it's been in you all along the power inside of all my hidden value is the morale you supply if I'm capable of greatness it's not innateness don't you see you're the one who put it there the power in me do not be fooled by appearances for those seem small the power to love one another is the greatest power of all no matter where life leads us we'll never be apart through thick and thin success or ruin I'll carry you in my heart and I What the world will never see You are kind and that's enough You're a diamond in the rough And you are the power The power in me The power Now, Princess, what do you wish of me? I wish there was a way to end the war with Pixar peacefully. And I wish the kingdom had a sultan who would make it the happiest place on earth again. What else? I wish you didn't have to go. When our story's just begun I'm sorry, Princess. There are a couple provisos, a few quid pro quos. That's one wish I cannot grant. Then I wish you every happiness. It is. Shall be the majority stockholder and sole ruler of the kingdom. Princess, it's a miracle. What? Ahmed's artillery just blew open a secret vault in the palace containing the lost treasure of Alibaba. <laughs> Here it is, men. The throne room. I'm sorry, Ahmed. You are not destroying this kingdom anytime soon. Wanna bet? No. I want to buy. For my first act as Sultan. I'm going to purchase the entirety of Pixar in the name of the Magic Kingdom. (laughs) 
Are you being ridiculous with me right now, princess? Buy pizza? We are a proud and noble people, very protective of our name and brand. I could never sell pizza for any amount of money. Captain, how much was Alibaba's treasure? It was more money than I'd ever seen, but I was able to count it. <laughs> 7.4 billion drachma. So <laughs> And a pleasure doing business with you, princess. But there is one condition. You must bring in new administrators from your land, men with good ideas to help us rebuild. Well, that can be arranged. We'll set you on the right track. But you must respect our traditions and our heritage. Please, return our kingdom to its commitment, to devotion, and to duty. You must bring back the two Ds. <laughs> All hail our new sultan, the princess. Oh, rise! Rise! From now on, no one need bow to anyone else. Equality will finally come to this kingdom for all. From now on, everyone is a princess. Even me? Even you. Oh, even me? Oh, yes, even you. So many great things have happened today. This is all Jafar's fault. Yes, you're right, Captain. Captain? Don't you mean princess? I am so sorry, princess. Don Tootin. <laughs> 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 Wait, what happened to Jafar? <laughs> so this is the life of a djinn. Phenomenal cosmic powers. Shitty, shitty living space. <laughs> so ends the untold story of a royal vizier. Funny. That's not the ending I recall. What? You're forgetting the best part. When the two lovers are reunited and they live happily ever after. Oh, shit, but how? I'm pretty sure someone wished for your happiness. So I've come back to stay with you in the lamp. <laughs> doesn't this make you happy? Oh, yes, of course. But doesn't that mean you're trapped here forever? I always said a thousand and one nights wasn't enough. Oh, then the princess, she really did it. Her other wishes came true as well. By making everyone a princess, she ensured that they were all treated with respect and compassion. They all did unto others as they were done unto. She followed the golden rule. And led her people into the third golden age. But Sherazad, how do you know these things? In the lamp, we exist outside of time and space. It's how the djinn was able to watch all those funny movies he quoted. We can see anything, anytime, anywhere. Oh, then let's see what happened to that thief, Aladdin. Ah! <laughs> Salam and good evening, worthy friend. Please, come closer. Ooh, ooh, a little too close. Wait, is that Aladdin? Mm -hmm. He's old and fat. Yes, look at this. Combination hookah and coffee maker. Also makes trillion fries. Will not break, will It broke. He's hawking second-hand goods. He's a loser. This is no ordinary life. It once changed the course of a young man's life. A young man who is not what he seemed. He does this till his 55th year when he's killed by a thief over a loaf of bread. And that's the end of the true story. And what of our story? How does it end? It doesn't. A thousand and one night times is not enough to spend. At last we have a story with no
Did you look? I know a thousand tales to fill a thousand nights, but now another story comes to mind. A noble young vizier. To wondrous heights He's brilliant as he's handsome And handsome as he's kind